Cattle Parish teenager under arrest, accused of bringing a loaded gun to school this morning. Just minutes ago, the sheriff's office told us a school resource officer at Bird High School located that gun inside that teen's backpack. The teen reportedly had a loaded Glock 43 gun with 10 rounds. Stepping a loaded Glock 43, Bird High, man. JJ was talking about school shootings, man. Bird High, man. Mm, it ain't a school shooting if it happens at like five feet from the front door, <laughs> though. I yeah, exactly. Exactly. The face of the face of guns in school is sons, man. Three gun with ten rounds. Deputies also believe this teen is tied to a local gang. They say he was also involved in a previous incident involving a gun at another area school. <laughs> Word. Okay, so this is Shreveport, man. The Shreveport, Shreveport ain't even put their landing gear down yet, man. It is already, he's Christ, man. Um, everywhere you go, what what was that city? That 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 guy, that stuttering guy with the goddamn um, breathing problem. What city was that? He was from. That city was like fucking Chicago, man. <laughs> Little fucking town, man. Yeah, where was that? Uh, out. Albany, Albany, Georgia. Albany, Albany, Georgia, Georgia yeah. yeah. Albany, Georgia, man. Yeah, man. Um, Christ, that was a hellhole like everywhere else. Yes, it's always the same shit, man. And wasn't he doing the J.J. Reddick shit? Yeah, too? exactly, A man. little bit, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, all these fucking places. Anywhere you go, man. Anywhere you go, it's the same fucking shit, man. The same fucking shit. Whoa. Well, on tonight's crime tracker, Sun God Allah. They need help finding him. Oh my God. His name dude. is Sun God. <laughs> His name is Universal Sun God what? Allah. Yikes. Yo. That is, uh, by definition, sunny. Freeport police tell us that they need help finding a man wanted for shooting a woman while playing with a gun. Police say they've been looking for 22-year-old Universal Sun God Allah for more than a week. That shooting happened at the Grimmett Drive Apartments on May 6th. We're told he ran from the apartments after the shooting. Fortunately, that woman will uh, be okay. <laughs> We're told she has not shot Top a woman left. with a gun. Top left. Innocent to proven guilty. Nah, he did that shit, dog. Yeah. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, salute the DVK, man. He said, Julie Martinez is one of us. Okay. Judy, what's up? Hey, what's up? Can How's everything? Me? Yeah, uh, how you doing? Good. I just wanted to, uh, I came on or I clicked on when you were talking about the Knott's Berry Farm thing. Um, right. I, I caught on on the very tail end. So they're bringing back a chaperone policy? Yeah, yeah, you can't get in. Um, you, you can't. You can't be under, um, under fifteen without a without a parent without somebody over twenty one. Oh, thank God! I was there last year, and there were kids just running everywhere. What kind of kids? Like what kids. Variety? It's all kids, though. It, it, it was okay. lighter kids, sun kids, all kids all over. Who was but, fighting? Who was fighting? You know what? There was no fights. Um, and anywhere that I was, mm -hmm. I didn't see any fights. Um. But there are just kids just running all over. And I actually just went to Disney. I went to the Knox Bay Farm last year in March. This mm. year, I went to uh, Disneyland with the friends. And we had a three-day pass because we live in Southern California. So you get, like, a special discount. And this was their 100-year anniversary. So blah, blah, blah. We went there. And there was families all together. They stayed together. You didn't see kids just running around. So that's mm. a big difference. Okay. Where's the, where's the fun in that? <laughs> The fun and that is that I don't get cut in line because that's what happened at Knott's Berry Farm last year. There were these two little glider boys, no older than 11, and I just so happened to see them get in line behind us on the Ghost Rider, like maybe 20 people behind us. I just so happened to look back and I saw them, and next thing I know, two little boys are right behind me. And they're trying to like sneak around and the, the line goes up these stairs. So it's really narrow and it's, you know, it's uncomfortable for everyone that's, that's there. And I asked the two, the couple, if the, these two kids were with them and they're like, no, we don't know these kids. And I told them they need to get back. Did they spit in your face and try to fight? No, they are two little lighter kids. <laughs> they just were shocked that I think that I said something though. Cause none of the other people said anything. 
and they stayed behind us throughout the rest of the, the would line. Would you like, have said? Would you have said something to them if they were two little son kids? Yes, because we mm-hmm. all paid to get in there, and those kids didn't pay to get in there. Their parents did. Their parents. That's good, man. Ticket. You're not racist. I appreciate you <laughs> treating everybody the same, man. Because y'all. If you if you want if you want to say that to them little glider kids, man, you need to talk to them sun teens the same way, man. Yeah, you know what though? Me and my friend did leave to go eat at one of the restaurants that are like with it's like right outside the park, but you can come back in if you as long as you show them your ticket. Um, when we were coming back inside, I did hear one of the the guards tell uh, a young maybe about fifteen year old uh, saying something about his shirt that he couldn't bring in his shirt because it had like profanity on it or something and they had to go change it or something that's all it but i just walked away and got back in line <laughs> maybe it was okay. an NBA young boy shirt i have thank no you. idea I, I actually didn't get a chance to look at it thank you though for that man that, that that's that, that that's great um a great on the ground report man uh, our, yeah. our correspondent <laughs> from not very not not very fun really. but you know what that happened i would say about a month or so right Right before those uh those big groups of fights of all those sun teams fighting that ha- that happened like a month before, mm. so yeah. Okay, that's that. Thank you for that, man. You can just stay on the panel if you want. Um, all right. Stay silent. Though. What's going on, Crook County? Yo, what's the word? I... Ain't nothing. What's happening? Nothing, man. You know. Did you go to the Let's... funeral today? No, nah, I went to wake. I I, I can do it again. I I saw it at the wake. I I couldn't take no more. Okay, that's what's up, man. Time trackers, report police tell us that they need help finding a man wanted for shooting a woman while playing with a gun. Police say they've been looking for 22-year-old Universal Sun God Allah for more than a week. That shooting happened at the Grimmett Drive Apartments on May 6. We're told he ran from the apartments after the shooting. Fortunately, that woman will uh, be okay. We're told she has non-life-threatening injuries. Allah faces a charge of illegal use of a weapon. If you have any information on his whereabouts, call Crime Stoppers. You don't see the number there, but it's 318-673-737. <sighs> Shreveport, man. Yikes. You know his mom was feeling herself when she came up with that name? She was like, I did that. Yeah, they 5% is problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely original Israelites. Yeah. Oh man. Gee. Why would you do this to disrupt a neighborhood that's trying to, you know, have camp? Uh they got uh stuff down here for seniors. Well new at ten, two hundred dollars worth of stolen scrap metal could now cost the city of Shreveport tens of thousands of dollars. It's because vandals damaged and stole equipment from the David Rains Community Center. KSLA News 12's Jade Myers explains how this could cause problems with summer camp at the facilities, along with activities for seniors until that damage is fixed. It's a tragedy that this has happened, and it, is, it's, it costs the citizens and the taxpayer dollars to get these things done. About three quarters of the David Rains Community Center on Round Grove Lane is now without a seat. Some equipment was damaged and stolen a couple of weeks ago. We come out early enough to do uh, spot checks on all our equipment to make sure everything is ready for the citizens. And upon that discovery, we came to the back of the building and discovered that it had been uh, vandalized. Hill said the vandalism was discovered during a preseason. That's junk. That's d- druggies, man, doing that shit to get money for drugs and shit. Yeah. Hey, I, you, I don't know if you heard, but... Outside of a violence prevention center out right here, they killed the, a man in the afternoon at 12 p.m. We did that. We did that. We did that story the other no, day. No, no, no. Today. Oh, another guy got killed outside the community center? Another guy. You saw the one I did the other day. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Where They were trying to shoot the the young, the young yeah, man. Yeah, he was giving the Clintina a ride home. And, yeah, and yeah. Nah, no, no, this is so- a different one. Today at <laughs> noon. God, Bright daylight. Like, Man, put in the back chat, man. All right, let me see oh, that man. God, man, Jesus Christ, man. Multiple people arrested in the Shreveport area on various weapons charges. Police say 19 year old Jatorian Williams was in a Jatorian. So we got Universal Sun God Allah, and we got Jatorian. Shout out Jatorian. 
We got two cops on the panel, man. Crook County and L.A. Wilkes, man. Yo, yo, uh, they caught the, they caught the other. Yeah, I saw today. that. We gonna get into that. We gonna get. Man, into that. I, I hate cops. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Who is this? Dada Rican? Dada New York Rican? Oh, he muted. I think he was up here the other day. I don't know. But yeah, man. Yeah. J- J- what's, hey, up, that- what's going on, man? Not much. I was wondering if I could speak on that topic about the malls real quick. Yeah, go but- ahead. Go ahead, man. So, in I'm trying to do this mic thing. Anyways, in uh, 2001, I was a manager uh, for a security company, a local mall here in New York. And uh, we took over because uh, Bloods had did a gang initiation on a uh, employee of Sears, gave a buck 50. So we took over the security. So there's a big problem with security and the client and allowing them to do the job. The client doesn't want to get sued. The public, you know, kids running crazy and doing all their stuff and it's kind of hard for security to implement rules especially nowadays so what what happens is all the people that uh for the community complain you know we want more police we want more security but they don't want to back up the security or the police when they're doing their job so as soon as something goes wrong, they fucking um, throw they you under the, the bus. Jesus. But the way the way we handle it now, this is the early two thousands. The way I handled it was, um, it was the beginning days of like Facebook and stuff, and I had good communications with the community. I used to go to all the town meetings, the neighboring towns, all three of them that were closest to the to the mall. I lived in the neighborhood a mile away, and I was able to hire my staff that I grew up with, all the guys I played, like, flag football with, you know, soccer with. So I had, like, half my dream team, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we took over hard. And then there was a lot of complaints. Oh, you're beating up people in the mall. And, this, you know, because my guards, you know, they, they didn't care. You know, if yeah. they wanted to fight, you want to fight? Let's take it out of the loaded dock. And, you know, the security were taking their uniforms off. So, you know, we had a lot of backlash about that. But the community, um, and this is the biggest problem, is, you know, people that do complain and do participate in the community are usually older folks uh, that are in their 60s, 70s. You know, you don't have the younger people until something crazy happens in the neighborhood. Mm. So they're the ones saying, oh, we need this, we need that. And I try to explain to them, like, y'all are profiling. I'm the one getting pulled over. I'm the one with the car with the rims. I'm the one that looks like them, you know? Mm -hmm. And you want this, but at the same time, you don't want us to do our job and complain, you know, that that we're getting into fights. So anyways, back to what what we did to, to reduce the amount of incidents inside the facility with the teenagers was uh, I was getting information from the employees that worked there. They were ratting them out, saying, oh, that's so-and-so, and and I got school with him, I got class with him. And I was, I I made a profile in my computer of who these people were that were causing problems. So I got their names, I got their school schedules, and I was talking to the security directors for the schools and communicating with them back and forth. And they would tell me when they heard something about fights going on, you know, let's duke it out the mall. So they would give me a heads up, and I would do the same back. Without that communication... There's a breakdown because they'll have it. So, so, so it takes it takes all that just for more secure. Man, listen, man, that's like the Pentagon type shit. That's like that's like CIA type shit. Just to fucking keep the shit the mall under control, man. Thank you, you for that, man. Appreciate no, that. No, but man. that's what that's what I had to do in order yeah. to do my job effectively. And no, I got you. I got you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah we, I got you. We reduced it. Yeah, I got you. That, that, salute, salute. Hey, hey, listen, I, listen, listen. Hold on real quick. If if somebody knows your name, if somebody knows who you are, it's less likely you're going to commit a crime in front of those people. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. It depends. Yeah, to some degree. To some degree, yeah. yeah. You got a point. It, it depends. Yo, yo, I, real quick, I put that in the backside <laughs> for you, Ike, and... Yeah. 
Usually they give these dudes 30 seconds. This guy got a whole 36. I call that progress. 36 seconds? Oh, he man. Got a whole 36. Wow, man. I, I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the story, the, the one on uh, Good Morning America. I'm gonna see if they got one, got it on order view. Um so right. so maybe maybe, maybe, maybe JJ Reddick touched on that. All right, man. Peace out, man. Thank you, man. Maybe um, JJ touched on it a little bit, you know. Yeah, JJ probably talked about it. Jatorian. 19-year-old Jatorian Williams was in a stolen vehicle this morning that led police on a chase. That pursuit ended in a crash. They say Williams was arrested with a gun with a scratched off serial number. He's facing charges from a, a flight from an officer, possession of stolen things, and possessing a weapon with an obliterated serial number. Man, sweet. Obliteration. Boy, that's, that'd be 